hello. You're gonna have to forgive the shadows because if I do that, I'm blind. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> but we are, we are, uh, I am Michelle. If you're, if you're new here, if this is the first time you're seeing us, hello, welcome. We have others in this, in this series, but we, we, we went to the cinema again um, and we actually looked it up and according to the upload date, it was a year, eight months and one day <laughs> since we last went to the cinema and that was to see Doolittle. And ironically, because of the casting of Doolittle, the next film we went to see is a Marvel movie. Yeah. As you can tell from the, from the title, we saw Shang-Chi in The Legend of the Ten Rings. Initial reactions? And... Yeah, it was really cool. I'm, I'm Michelle, he's Adam, by the way, if it's been a while or yeah. not. Or we were new. Or, or, yeah. We're new. Welcome. Hello. 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 Lovely to have you here. Sorry. New phone. So we're getting used to the camera. And he just looks so small. <laughs> He's actually slightly taller than me. I don't know what it, what it is. But, you know, it's probably what... just the perspective of the camera. Yeah. The camera. Yeah. The camera's right on one end of the phone, which is closer to me. So. Yeah. But, so yes. Initial thoughts. Yeah. I thought it was awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's, there are cute creatures. Yeah, oh yeah, beautiful creatures. Okay, hang on, sorry. Okay, oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, Work in progress. Yes, so, yeah, no, agreed. It was, I'm gonna, okay, so we're gonna try and avoid spoilers, so we're gonna talk broadly, and then we'll talk more specific um, spoilery stuff. But, yes, enjoyable, actually, you know, fun, liked it. I'm not, I'm not actually sure it's the film that I was expecting it to be, but we can get more into that in a second. Would you say that's fair for what you thought it might have been? Um, I didn't really go into it with too many... Um, yeah, specific. Yeah, sort of preconceptions, but... Um, Overall vibe? Yeah, yeah um, perhaps a little bit not quite as I expected. But not in a bad way? Not in a bad way. That's good. Cool. Yeah. I'm, I will say, and obviously, a lot happened, a lot of fun, good stuff, um, fantastic choreography. Yeah. So amazing. I mean, okay, so you know from the trailers, it's kind of a kung fu movie, but not like anything you would have seen before. <laughs> and there was, um, a, not a, a, a big trailer, but there was like in the, um, hey, welcome to the, welcome back to the cinema, and here's, here's stuff coming up, and there was a... A, a, a trailer for the new like a clip for the new matrix movie mm. it's not matrix fighting it's not you know it's just uh you look up it's not <laughs> it's gorgeous mm, it was, wasn't it? um but good good film very enjoyable um definitely adds to the marvel canon um takes a lot from some of the earlier movies as well which is again we'll get there small story Mm. Yeah, very um, sort of streamlined. Yeah, not a bad way. Not in a bad, not a bad mm. thing. But as I was watching, like, it's actually quite a sm small, simple story mm. in a lot of ways. A lot happening, quite epic in scope, scope, mm. but not many characters. Yeah, mm. which is which is a good thing. Mm. Um, so other non-spoilery. Um, yeah, I just I like the I like the pacing of it. I, I thought the, I mean it was over two what, two ten was it two hours ten. Yeah. Um, it didn't feel that long. No. Um, I, so yeah, time went by very quickly. Um, but just yeah, just enjoyable and good fun and like you say the choreography was amazing. Um, the quiet scene. There were quiet stuff, but there was there was yeah there was like talky bits. It didn't drag. No, it, it felt really it didn't good. drag. It felt like it. It connected the the story, and you got a lot of backstory, a lot of history as well. Yeah. Like, I thought that the it was all connected well. All the performance was good. There was a lot of um, there was a couple of main child actors, and then a mm. couple of other, you know, and they, everyone was good. Yeah, very good. Yeah, no, I couldn't fault anyone's performance. Yes, and we love Morris. <laughs> oh, Morris. We we stand on Morris. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, I mean, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Guys, if you've been like. Okay, so obviously Black Widow has been and gone, but I know some people would have seen it what they watched it at home. Mm, yeah, true. So really from No Way No Way no, Hope that's the second. Far from home. Mm. So Far From Home was the last 
Marvel we saw in cinema. Mm -hmm. But obviously the last big Marvel would have been Endgame. Yeah. I don't think we've discussed this before on camera. Do you think, and I know this is like, I'm not saying it's a good thing, but do you think the whole world catching fire and everyone getting diseased um, and maybe help with the Marvel fatigue? Maybe. Yeah, maybe, because it did feel... That's a good point, actually, because it did feel at times when it was that it was sort of coming very full on yeah. towards us. Um, and, yeah, maybe a, a, a breather isn't yeah. necessarily a bad thing. Yeah. Have you seen Black Widow? Because I obviously haven't yet. No. Okay, because we didn't... We didn't get to see it in the cinema, we just didn't... We, I mean, is it even still out? I have no idea. Okay. Um, It'll be on D+. Well, yeah, that's the thing. It'll be on D+, and I was... We didn't get around to seeing it in the cinema. I refused to pay extra for D+. Plus. <laughs> yeah. So, we haven't seen that. So, and I'm thinking, because of the reaction, like, the box office for Black Widow wasn't brilliant. That's part of the reason um, ScarJo sued, which, okay, mm. fair enough. I'm um, not going to get into that lawsuit. Um, apparently, it's been set up now anyway, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, this might actually be the first big Marvel film people are actually making the effort to see. Mm. Completely worth it. Yeah. If you're not sure, if you think, oh, it's been a while, like, oh, I've lost the momentum, just go see it. You have fun. There, there, like, there's some connecting threads that will sort of pull you back. But you still want... I don't know if you can necessarily go in completely 100% cold. No, no. You but need, you'll have a good time. You need a bit of backstory from the MCU. <coughs> not a lot, because like mm. you say, this, this particularly is... It's not, quite, it's not standalone. No. But it is, as you say, a small story. Mm. So... You could dip into it, but you need a bit of backstory from, yeah. from the MCU, yeah. But, and that, are there any sort of other things non spoilery you think you can add? Um, I don't think so, actually. Okay. Hmm. Alright, we liked it. Yes, <laughs> it, was, it was very good, and yeah, go and see it if you haven't already. And the lady in the cinema, apparently we gave the wrong answer, because um, oh, yeah. <laughs> I think she was a PR lady or doing some kind of market research yeah. or something, because she had like a sheet of photos and an iPad, and she was like, oh, you just come to the, out the cinema, yes, oh, what did you say to you? Oh, she was actually, oh, okay, well, did you enjoy it? Yes. Like, well, good, well, have a nice day. So, <laughs> clearly wrong answer. I don't yeah. know what film she wants to know about, but yeah. um, it wasn't that one. <laughs> um, but yeah, that being said, spoilers! <laughs> Do you want to start? <laughs> okay, um, so the bit, I mean the best bit for me was, <laughs> I didn't even know he was in it. <laughs> I guessed, but carry on, I know where you're going. I mean, Ben Kingsley was in it, <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> Trevor, Trevor Slattery. Yeah, actor. <laughs> actor. Um, oh god, that was great. <laughs> it was so, <laughs> that was so good. I had a feeling, because it is a Ten Rings movie, uh, and because um, we were advised, I, I'd already rewatched it recently, and Aaron had already seen the film, so I, was, I said to Aaron, "Does Adam need to rewatch the Hell to the King? Mm -hmm. Do you think you missed? Do you, do you think you forgot? Did you forget what basically happened? Do you think you didn't? You know, if you hadn't, like never, if you'd never seen Hell to the King, yeah, you would be confused. Yes, but do you think your memory was good enough that you weren't confused? Um, uh, I wasn't confused, <laughs> but I wouldn't say my memory was good enough because it's me we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I wasn't. I wasn't confused with things, no. no. But yeah, Ben Kingsley was amazing. <laughs> yeah, that was just great. <laughs> and his little friend Morris. Oh, Morris, so, it's so cute and weird. Okay, so Morris is like a six-legged fluff ball with no face and four wings. <laughs> Gorgeous wings, as you said. A very pretty little rainbow, iridescent rainbow oh. wings. I've, apparently, already exists as a plushie because you saw a little <laughs> yeah, kid walking out. Little kid walking out. I went. <laughs> that kid's got Morris. <laughs> <laughs> Which, again, cool, not surprised. Yeah. Um, but I, I, no face. Yeah, yeah. It's like I said, cute but weird. <laughs> <laughs> cute, cute but weird. <laughs> um, but yeah. So basically, I said it's a small story. So introduction to so where we meet. Um, what was the dad's name? Because um, okay, I don't we get we apologise. We're gonna be terrible with the Chinese pronunciations. <laughs> yes. Um, but so yeah, the, the main guy, the main bad, who I would say was very good with his children. Like the, when the children were young, he was, he was a good daddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was. Well, not a good dad, but he was a good daddy. Yeah. Um. So yeah, background meets his wife, and one of the amazing 
Oh, yeah, beautiful dog. I can't. I don't know the name of it, but I'm fairly certain it is like a type of martial art where it is pure defense, where you're just, um, what's the word? Deflecting and, and just mm -hmm. taking the power out of the moves. Mm -hmm. Like I can't think what it is, or maybe it's a couple of different disciplines, but mm -hmm. yeah, that, that kind of yeah. completely. You know, you're not actually attacking; you're just defending mm -hmm. and defusing, and that that's mm -hmm. just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And then of course. And that's how I met you up. That's the meet cute. <laughs> and then, um, so you, you got that. Uh, Mum dies, sadly, but inevitably, because, you know, it's a Disney movie. Yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah it is. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally just occurred to me. Yeah, you're not wrong. <coughs> <coughs> Kids, well, son, shang is taught, um, all, you know, the, the, the family business. And then, so this is where it's not the film I thought it was. Mm -hmm. Because I thought it was like, so the boy goes off to go into the world to live his life, to have an experience outside the family business. Mm -hmm. And then gets pulled in and it's about him resisting the family business. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, see that, that, was, my, that yeah. was my thing, yeah. But it's not. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's not actually that. not. It's, um, so he, he's... He's left home, he's gone to the States, he's lived his life in America for like 10 years. Um, met his best friend, who actually threw me off. She was great. So his friend, best friend Katie is played by Aquafina. Oh, is that who she is? Yeah. Okay. And that is how it's pronounced as far as I'm aware. Yeah. Now, the reason it threw me off is nothing to do with her performance, nothing to do with her. She was amazing. I loved her. She was so cute. Especially, oh my God, at the end when she had the red dress and she looked so pretty. Yeah, yeah. She looked so good. Mm -hmm. Have you seen Raya? No, I haven't yet. No. She's the voice of Shifu. Oh, that's the thing. The, the, that's the fluffy sky noodle. Yeah, that. <laughs> oh, okay. And that threw me off because... <laughs> And I think this is a quirk of when you you hear someone first. Yeah. Her voice is very distinct. Yeah, it is, yeah. It's quite gravelly, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. especially for someone so small. Yeah. So that kind of threw me off in a way that <laughs> isn't her fault. Yeah, no, I get that. Because, but because if I'd seen her first, yeah, yeah. maybe it wouldn't bother me so much, but because I heard her first. Yeah. It's like watching anything with Dan Castanella in it. It's like you just hit, you just see Homer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you sort of, yeah, you, you get the voice first, don't you? Yeah. And you're like, that face is that voice? <laughs> okay. But amazing, wonderful. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You get all the thing. You got the, the big, the, the big fight sequence on the bus, which was just amazing. Was the full epic. sequence is, is amazing. Yeah. Uh, they go to a fight club um, because and then meet his sister, and then they get they actually get kidnapped by their dad again. Um, like they, so she, he's putting in the story, and then they like meet Trevor because they get put in the thing, and then they hear a noise and like you're going towards the noise. <laughs> it's Trevor doing his lear, his, 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 <laughs> his, 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 his rehearsals. Like what year is this? So. <laughs> Question was Trevor snapped because oh, he's got no idea what the year is, yeah, even did maybe. he know about the snap? I think he's just Trevor, <laughs> <laughs> just Trevor. So I don't think he knows what year it is. And there is so we actually get the whole thing. This is like it does, it basically gives the basic plot of Hell to the King. I was like, Well, I was in jail, <laughs> and because uh, you actually have dad saying about, um, like they took my legend and turned it into a chicken dish yeah oh yeah <laughs> they're oh, afraid of an yeah, orange they're afraid of an orange <laughs> which actually is probably the best way to handle that because if you know the original history of the mandarin in the comics he was like a yellow scare fu manchu type stereotype basically okay so yeah this is probably the best way to do it because it's yeah. like you know kind of takes away like, some of the racialism yes. <laughs> and there is like a um not a bad in a bad way because I think that was what he got his Oscar. But there is always Sir Ben Kingsley did play um, Gandhi. Oh, he did, didn't he? And I don't remember, I can't remember what Ben Kingsley's um, racial background actually is. So I don't I can't remember if that was because because I think having a British you know at least a British raised man playing an Indian leader because you couldn't have a Pakistani or an Indian or it's like so it might be like at the time less. Sticky, mm, yeah, potentially, yeah. But yeah, so it's basically he's that dad's thing about like the Mandarin you know, being a a thing in the middle. Trevor's like, so plot twist, I was working for a terrorist. Who knew? <laughs> it's like ah, uh, so that's 
Because I like Iron Man 3. Yeah. Some people I, don't. Yeah, I, like, I quite liked it. I, I genuinely like it. Some people don't, some people don't. Um, but yeah, so that's... So yeah, so that's how Trevor's there, because he's like, I just... They, they liked me. Like, I did a bit <laughs> of my, my thing. They were going to kill me. <laughs> yeah. I did some of my Lear, and they're like, all right. So... And um, Kate makes a joke about him being their gesture. Jester. <laughs> yeah. It's a gig. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's acting, darling. <laughs> it's acting, darling. And that's when Morris comes out and like, <laughs> yeah. what's that, what's that, what's that? <gasps> you can see him. I thought I'd gone crazy. <laughs> I thought I was hallucinating him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But yeah, so they... Morris has powers because Morris is a strange, mythical, strange creature. I don't even know what he's supposed to be based oh, yeah. on. He was from the. That, but he the was village. from the Taylor, the, uh, the yeah, village Taylor. that their mum's from. Yeah. So he. So you get a sequence prior to this where dad is like saying, okay, so they've. Mum gave them both pendants. Mm. The pendants got stolen. That's like the bus sequence and then the fight sequence later on. Yeah. Which we're going to talk about the scaffold scene. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and then. So he puts it on the, these like model of the dragon's eyes. And you get this beautiful, weird, cool water sequence mm. where they. So there's a bamboo forest at the beginning that kind of moves and will basically destroy you. Because bamboo's tough as shit. Mm. It's like, it is stronger than steel, like a tensile strength for bamboo. Mm. Um, especially bamboo that large. Mm. Um, but Morris, being a creature of that land, so it's like, oh, in three days, the path will open up and we can follow this path. But Morris is like, well, I can do that now. <laughs> <laughs> so they go to the village. Um, so that we've now got Shang-Chi, Katie, uh, Jean Long, the sister. Mm, Pulse. Yeah. Sister. Sorry, I don't want to get the names wrong. And then Trevor and Morris. Yeah. And I'm sorry, do you, do you kind of want a Trevor sat nav now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hard left now. <laughs> what? Where? <laughs> stay in the pocket. Stay in the pocket. Stay in the pocket. Stop saying stay in the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <coughs> Because <coughs> it does set up the driving, you know, because Katie and um, Sean, uh, he calls himself Sean. Like, yeah, yeah. you went from Shang-Chi to Sean. <laughs> like, no wonder your dad found you. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, they go to the village. They meet their aunt, um, Nan, who is played by Michelle Yeoh, which I had a comment on that in a second. Um, love Michelle Yeoh, but this is a comment I've got on that. Um... And then, yeah, they spend a couple of days in the village learning to fight, learning to learn more about their family, because like they say, you are children of this village, you are welcome here, you're welcome home, which is really, really sweet. And then dragon fight! Yeah, because why not? <laughs> and that's it, basically. You got, you know, a couple of misadventures, you got bugs crawling on the window, looking, it's just kind of chilling out there. Oh yeah, oh, he's having a good time. He's, he's fine, he's cool. <laughs> um, and yeah. And big dragon fight. So, <laughs> thoughts? <laughs> um, it's just awesome. It was just great. It's great. It's great to be back in the cinema. It is as well. You know, um, twenty months. Yeah, God, is it really? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, year and eight is twelve, twenty. Yeah, twenty. Wow. Um, and yeah, just overall a really nice experience. <sighs> so we'll talk about the scaffold. Well, you can talk about the scaffold thing in a minute because. Okay. I did a lot of talking, but the reason Michelle Yeoh, we, we stand on Michelle Yeoh because she, she's very good. Mm. Uh, I've been watching um, Discovery and she's plays a character in that. Um, so funny joke about that. I was watching a video. Um, it was for Pride Month, so they were talking about the slash pairings in Star Trek throughout the history okay. and going through the different names. So um, Kirk, Spock is like Spurk. It's like different like portmanteaus that have been given, yeah. and the. The guy going through it and talking about it was saying, "What this? I could have come up with this or this thing." Well, fine. So Michelle Yeoh plays a character called um, um, Jojo, hmm. and um, her, the character she often gets paired with Michael Burnham, um, played by uh, Sneakle Martin Green. You know, so pair the lesbian couple. Um, but the portmanteau for that is um, George Byrne. I am not taking suggestions. That is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> George Byrne, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It works. Okay, so on Michelle Yeoh. Um, brilliant discovery. Really enjoying... Because I, I don't know if I've really seen her anything prior. So I don't know how much of it was... Uh, you know, it's mostly been in China or like her original... Wherever she's originally from. Um, 
but very very cool the, the point that maybe oh cool oh is i have been re-watching all the other marvel movies mm -hmm. in order mm -hmm. she's in guardians 2 is she yeah she's one of the other ravager gang the one uh one who hooks up with uh oh yes she she's is just at the end yes uh, yeah of course she is yes okay there you go <laughs> <laughs> I know there's been a couple of characters played by d two different actors, which we'll talk about one of those right at the end. Um, but I think it's the first time an actor's played two characters. Yeah. I mean, uh, technically Sean Gunn, because he's the um, on-set rocket. Mm, yeah, yeah, I suppose, <laughs> technically. But... In terms of, like, yeah, like, on-screen character characters, yeah, you might be right. Yeah. Interesting observation. Wow. Yeah. But, I mean... <laughs> Michelle Yeoh is amazing, and she's oh, like she is, yeah. um, her fighting style, and like she's obviously trained. And like mm. I don't know how long she's been trained. Like I said, I don't know her full career history. I Maybe I should correct that. Mm. Yeah. yeah, but mm. to, it just kind of like, huh? huh. <laughs> 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 like, yeah. Oh, she was in that. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna, but I, I don't know. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. So do you want to talk about the scaffold scene? Yeah, it was just awesome. I mean, you got to have a, a fight in like a sort of kung fu movie. You got to have a bamboo scaffolding fight, <laughs> you know, where it's scaling the the scaffold. Because um, yeah. how often do you? How many of you, well, have you seen that scene? That you haven't. I mean, it, I've seen I've, I've seen a couple of like Jackie Chan films. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That he does that in. Um, but to this scale, because it was on the side of a yeah, skyscraper. No, that was just ridiculous. It was like <laughs> how many hundreds of stories high, and when they like panned out, and it was just kept going. It was oh. like what on earth? Um, but that was just absolutely epic. Well, like so, it's basically taking place on one plane, mm. on 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 you know on just this one plane side of this. But then they're going skyscraper. sort of up and down it. Yeah. I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, <coughs> I don't know if it's because it was bamboo or because you're talking about people fighting, but I think the, the things were slightly closer together than they normally would have been. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, probably, I don't know, maybe we could to make it easier for I mean, human beings you know, to fight. Because, yeah. you know, you can still have it a certain distance apart. Yeah. But, so, I don't know if that necessarily gets the creative, because to me, I didn't see anything like, again, I haven't seen as many Jackie Chan films as you maybe have, but best fighting sequence, or do you think there's like, because it's certainly got creative points for me. Oh yeah, it was. Um, I mean, the bus was amazing. The bus was amazing. I mean, I don't, well, let's, well, I don't want to compare it to like a Jackie Chan scene. No, because no. he's just a legend. But like, in, within this own movie, yeah. Would you... Oh yeah, within. I mean, the, yeah, the bus sequence was 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 <sighs> incredible. Because um, you, essentially, you've got two sequences: the bus and the scaffold, mm. where you've got big action, limited space. Mm -hmm. One you've got like the up and down, this is the other one you've got like side yeah, side. Like, yeah. And the vlogger. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Hey there, guys. Live streaming. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little bit of kung fu, so I'll give you the commentary. Yeah, like, I'll, give you the thing. I'll, uh, I'll judge the fight. That was yeah, funny. That was very funny. But it did lead into the what I think is when they went into the sisters' fight club. Oh, hey, you're a bus boy. You're yeah, like, yeah. You, you get three million hits. You're like, <laughs> so you got him like the top fight, which <laughs> uh, following Wong. Yeah, I know what. It's good to see Wong. Yeah, I didn't see. I didn't know we'd see Wong. I kind of did, maybe. Like I think I can't remember if it was a direct spoiler. Someone saying, "Oh yeah, Wong's in it," or because um, you've seen the No Way Home, No Way Home trailer where you see Wong going through the, the thing to somewhere. Yes, yes. And someone speculated that might have been him going to the fight ring. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. But the background through what you see in Spider-Man doesn't look like anything we saw mm. there so but it was still a nice little like yeah, you know nice crossroad yeah. so Wong doing his fight you know thing and like <laughs> ah I know it I know we've already seen it before but it always makes me laugh when they did the um the teleport ring like the, the portal rings oh, and yeah. makes the big creature punch, <laughs> punch himself, himself yeah. <laughs> we, we have seen that trick before but yeah, it's always funny that was funny <laughs> <laughs> like, see how it feels doink yeah <laughs> they're trying to drag him out of the ring and <coughs> there's like five guys and they just can't pull him out of the ring that's funny and then you see him in the um, locker room afterwards like you gotta hold your punches like I've been telling you <laughs> yeah, yeah like, so he's clearly training him <laughs> like, <laughs> but that was fun and then um, yeah he so he gets put up you know, trying to put, gets put up against someone and it's like his sister and you see, see the, mm. the same pendant. It's like, because I 
thought the pen that was being more of a MacGuffin. Mm. Yeah, the the thing to get, yeah. But it wasn't. No, it was yeah. just like I mean it was It for was like, a device, but it wasn't a MacGuffin. No, it wasn't a MacGuffin. It was the thing the thing to get and then it <sighs> wasn't. It was like an exciting incident, but even then like a big one. Mm, no, yeah. Which was quite interesting. Yeah. So so yeah, I like the scaffold. Um, sorry, if you can hear a lady in the background. We're right, right next to the, bu- the um, train station. Um, the one at the end. So I had a kind of a shit moment. So the big. So what we say about the big dragon fight. So they were basically called Soul Eaters. Uh, we get Nan Shoyo's characters telling us the history of the village and the thing. And like, so they're like a a different dimension. Mm. So are they still on Earth or like it's slightly woolly there yeah. oh they had volpixes um oh yeah, yeah. amazing um lots of other cool creatures beautiful creatures firebirds which might have been phoenixes but we never got to see them close yeah. enough so yeah. disappoint <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um but yeah so obviously dad sorry i can't remember his proper name i'm probably butcher if i did um is at least a thousand years old so the big soul eater, like the, the big creatures that the you know the, the, the final se- fight sequences are all about, started sucking his soul. I was like, that's a lot of power. Mm, yeah. A thousand years old. Thousand that's years. a lot of power. Yeah. And he said like people used to call him the most powerful man. Yeah. To exist. So, so what do you think of the the, the way? Because obviously the Ten Rings has been literally from Iron Man. It's been a, an idea of the concept. So, what do you think? Like actually seeing them? Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. It obviously expands on the story, doesn't it? Um, mm. And uh, yeah, I mean, obviously they're a very formidable fighting force, aren't they? Yeah. So, so you've got the ten rings as a concept, basically, is an army. But then you also got actual physical ten rings with like the big bangles. Mm. And again, I don't know the exact details, but in the comics, they are literal rings. Okay, right. Like right. one free finger, and then like they've e- apparently they've each got a special th- power thing oh, that they okay. can do. Yeah. So I found it interesting that they made them these bangles, oh, yeah. right? Instead, yeah, right. Yeah. but that made them visually more interesting because then you, you know, you do. A th- a f- so at the end, um, Shang Chi and his dad are fighting because basically he, you know, he died. His mum died at seven, when when the, the you know Shang Chi was seven and his sister would have been like five. Um, as from that age, he trained. Basically, got trained as an assassin, and of course, girls don't get to do that. So she trained herself. And then you see her work. I don't know what it's called, but it's like a, a pointy end and a, a you mm. know a heavy end and rope in the middle. Yeah, that's very that's, cool. That's scary. Um, and yes, yeah, so that was kind of their their childhood. And like he left at fourteen to basically assassinate someone. We later find out was the man who killed his mum. Mm. That he saw happen. Yeah. So that kid's like screwed up. Yeah, massively. Um, but I did like the sequences with them, like t- as the family. Yeah, it was pretty cute. They were very sweet, weren't they? But yeah, so he, he eventually inherits the the, the rings because he see like the, the weight, all the different powers. So yeah, he's basically going to kill his dad because of well, basically his dad screwed him up, um, and. So when Dad has the rings, they're blue. When mm. Shang-Chi takes them over, they're red. Mm. Which struck me as kind of interesting. One, is it is visually interesting, and obviously you've got the colour coding there. But two, normally in video games it's the other way around. The good guys yeah, are normally the blue. the good guy and the bad guy, yeah, that's right. Mm. That's interesting. Yeah, so I don't know why that... That's just a thing that made me go, huh, okay, cool. But that's more of a visual thing. Um, so the other reason that I found it interesting that Aquafina was in this, mm. apart from the fact she's very good, is obviously we get a big sky noodle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Amazing big sky noodle yeah. called um, called Protector, yeah, yeah. and um, she was very cool. There was at one point the little um, you got the little demons that come out first, and then feed the big demon, yeah, yeah. and then the big demon breaks out, and that's so we get the big fight sequence. But um, she gets attacked, like one of her eyes, like they start attacking one of her eyes. So um, sister basically gets her little rope whip thing with the dragon scale. Um, you know, arrowhead, and snaps it, snaps them off, and you actually get a moment where Protector acknowledges that, and, like looks at her, and go, and they just, you know, yeah, and then later on you see her riding her, it's like, oh, 
<laughs> That's a good sky noodle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Big, like, there is a bit of a kaiju fight um, towards the end where, um, you know, Soul Sucker gets hold of her and like, like if you, if she um gets if it gets her soul, then you know, basically game over, which fair enough. Yeah. Um, and so um, Katie, who's like only picked up a bow yesterday. Hmm. Um, so she gets like, because it's a cute little scene where, because um, they're friends, oh, we've got to talk about their friends, <laughs> like the, the, <laughs> yeah. the, the, the top and tail of this. Hmm. Um, but she's like, sees a lady dropping the arrows, and she's like, oh, I'll go help, I'll, I'll help you come. Like, oh, come with me, like, like oh, I'm gonna go help take these arrows <laughs> in the range. And then basically, like, okay, you shoot now. Yeah. Like, what? And the lady's hmm. like, because she's saying, like, I don't know, I, I really admire you, because you see, you, she's, they're walking through where the people are doing like different disciplines, like, um, very Shaolin. Mm. With some of the stick fighting and that, um, which is very very cool. Actually, I wonder how many different disciplines they did happen. Yeah, that'd be interesting to find out. Yeah, because um, the Shaolin always kind of fascinating to watch. Yeah. Well, they're probably down the sticks and that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she's like she's saying, oh yeah, because I I get the because she's got a master. She's actually a very intelligent oh, yeah. young woman. Yeah, yeah. Um, but she just can't thing. And like the the lady goes in. I'm gonna say Chinese because I don't know what dialect they were using. Um, so they said, you know, if you never, if you don't aim for anything, you won't hit anything. Yeah. I was like, oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah I thought, oh, wow, that's poignant. <laughs> and then, like, she does the target training. It's like, oh, yeah, check that out. And originally, they keep her off the battlefield because she, she's not strong enough yet, she's, which is fair enough. Yeah. Um, but then she kind of gets not the kill shot, but she gets the um, tiebreaker shot where she she yeah. shoots through the soul soul eaters throat which yeah. that was a really cool effect with the glowy purple and everything yeah that was really nice so on on her being taught archer in that how so hawkeye we've been watching from day, pretty much from day one so what do you think of the more primitive comparatively more primitive archery style going on yeah well it was effective <laughs> <laughs> but do you think it was an interesting contrast yeah yeah obviously yeah because hawkeye is very sort of I don't know what the word would be really, sort of focused and yeah. very most surgical in his approach, isn't he? A good word. Yeah, but then, yeah, but that obviously, as you say, is more primitive and, and more sort of ancient and, um, yeah, yeah. Well, what's the word? So, like older, you know, you know, yeah. you know what I mean? Sorry. I was going to say primitive, but not primitive, because... No, not primitive, because, yeah. Um, I mean, um, archery, basically, I... I I want to say it was Iron Man 3 where they said that um, it used to be a time where the bow was the most advanced weapon you know and then something else came along so you know it's not but it kind of just made me think just now comparing the two that I've not seen the film or read the book but in Hunger Games where Katniss has a bow and obviously when she's just in her district she has a wooden bow and then there's a sequence where she's given a new metal bow mm. and then she can't shoot straight and it's like well, what the hell and, like, cause and someone in review and like, okay, I, say I haven't seen it but someone basically no she was using a basic wooden thing that she made herself she now has a precision tool you're gonna there's gonna be a learning curve yeah of course yeah. you've got different equipment yeah of course yeah absolutely so but yeah I just but no the other thing I was gonna say about Aquafina is obviously we got um the protector um who is a very scaly um sky noodle mm. but very awesome very pretty design um mostly white with red red accents and that very very cool doesn't speak which is good although i was gonna say um uh, originally uh, when i saw her in the trailers um i know there's an enemy from iron man i haven't used yet called fing fang Fu, who is a dragon oh. and i thought maybe that's they were going to bring that in because mm. apparently they they are um related to the ten rings somehow okay. or that that legend, that that side of it. Yeah. But no, just the protector. But Sifu in uh, Raya is the fluffy blue sky noodle, but she's a water dragon. Oh, right. And obviously, protector comes out of water. Yeah. Right. So that that also kind of made it. Yeah. They're just, they're just making all the connections. <laughs> oh, that's a nice. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. But I still want to have a fluffy Sifu. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, other thoughts, things, points, stuff you want to cover that you know, think maybe I haven't talked about? Or... Um, 
Well, I think we've covered most of it, really. Like you say, the, I mean, the visuals, the martial arts style. Um, styles? Styles, yeah, even. Um, <coughs> um, a very streamlined story, but very interesting and very well done, very mm. well executed. Um, no, I think we've covered most of it, really. Any other, any, 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 anything? Um, I always feel like I talk more. <laughs> Um, no, I don't know really. Um, I just liked it. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just liked it. It was just really good. It was good fun. Um, and you like Trevor? And I like Trevor. <laughs> and I like Morris. <laughs> I, I want Morris. Um, yeah. Uh, no, I, uh, yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. And it's, like I say, it's good to be back at the cinema. Um, I, Trevor made you laugh and you weren't expecting that. Was there yeah. any anything that made you particularly go, ooh? Or... Um, not really, to be honest. Not like in a bad way, but mm. just no. I just sort of thought. I just I was just enjoying it as as it came, really. Um, enjoying it sort of bit by bit. Yeah. Um, and I just thought it sort of held together very well. Um, and yeah, maybe it, as I said at the beginning, not exactly what I expected. Yeah. And there was that sort of not like realize not realization really, but. Mm. Um. Yeah, realisation. Yeah. When it sort of became what it became. Yeah. Um, I thought, oh, okay, you know, I see, I see where they're going with this, and then just sort of went with it. Yeah. Um, that that was that was good. Yeah, yeah. That was good. I wouldn't say that was a, like a oh moment, but maybe a little bit. Oh yeah. Yeah. So no, like me. Like, yeah. No, no. Besides, besides my. Uh, I mean, the spectacle <laughs> itself, but nothing made you particularly. Um, no. Just overall, I think there was. It was, it was very pretty. Um, we all, we're always so positive. Any any downs? Any anything you can point to and go like like that? Honestly, no. Good. Not, yeah, well, fine. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not off the top of my head. Like, maybe if like, I were to think about it a bit more, I might yeah. think, oh yeah, actually. But no, I think it was no. Yeah. Okay, so we mentioned the friends. So at the beginning, oh, they're yeah. talking to their friends, and like this is how we find out she's got a masters, and they're like criticizing yeah. them basically for being you know car valets yeah. that are going on joy rides. And then um, they're like, okay, it's nearly midnight. We could, we should be sensible and go to bed. Or karaoke scene. <laughs> yeah. Epic oh, karaoke yeah. scene. Epic. And then at the end. <laughs> oh, yeah. Another epic karaoke scene. But <laughs> <laughs> they with their friends again in the bar and like telling them everything that's happened. Hmm. And like, are you like mocking us because we, you know, think. And then you see the one coming through <laughs> yeah. with, the, with the thing. Yeah. And like, Shang-Chi? Yeah. <laughs> Cool. You, you you have the rings. Yeah. Come with me. You too. <laughs> drink drinks of the good drink. Yeah. Oh, and I don't know if this like means anything or just just kind of a cute thing. But you know, it's like he had the the girly drink. Like he had the cocktail and she had the no, more. I didn't the brandy. That. No, I do. <laughs> That's <laughs> quite funny. Cute there. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're like, all right, we're going with him now. <laughs> cool. See you later. <laughs> and then like, so Wong. So you get the first like the mid mid crawl sequ um, sequence. Which is Wong examining, like, um, doing a, like a holographic, you know, sort of micro thing on the um, on the rings, like analyzing them. It's like the first time you, like, how old did I say they were? Like a thousand years. No, this this isn't vibranium. This isn't, um, you know, Tatari. Um, this is something else. They go deep zoom and there's like a pulse, something going on in there because like we felt it camouflage first time you used it which how because they were in China then they went to um you know Tolo, Tolo mm -hmm. which is it multi-dimensional but you're still in yeah. China to get there so is it yeah. how far because Kamataj is India isn't it yeah that's not geographically that far apart is oh, it that's but at the same time you still but then again, how far away is the other dimension? Yeah. Like, so weird. But in that sequence, also by by a hologram is Captain Marvel. Carol Danvers is there, mm. and she gets a call that she has to take. Mm. And like, oh, Bruce has my number. Bruce is Bruce. He's not Professor Hulk. Mm. Which I and this could be my not understanding his character. I thought once he was Professor Hulk, he can swap back. Okay. Like that was curious, um, but also he still had his arm in a sling, so yeah. he, he's like he's effed up for life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know how long we have on the thingy, um, but yeah, and then the, the final. So yeah, 
they're like, well, you've you've had a lot. You're in the you're in the um, the circus now. You should probably go home and get a rest. Or welcome to the half <laughs> down. <laughs> Yeah, that's great. <laughs> and then the final final is sister taking over mm. the compound. Um, she can be antagonist. She can be an antagonist. No, she was taken down because they were there before. I see, right, okay. But I, I misinterpreted. I thought they were putting them up. No, I think they put more graffiti up to make it look more, you know, mm, her yeah. own thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, is she going to be the antagonist or the. Or is she just making a new flight school for, like, yeah. that includes girls as well? Mm. Um, so trailers very quickly because oh, okay. I don't know how long trailers. we got. I don't know new phone, so I don't know when it's gonna okay. switch over. Uh, June looks better than Lynch version, and it's got Zendaya, so <laughs> that's cool. Oh yeah, she's good. Last night in Soho. That looks cool. I, I, yeah. I, Matt Smith is always gonna be a win for me. Yeah, true. Uh, that looks interesting. Um, Venom two. I mean, it's it's let there be kind. It look it looks good. Yeah. Um, and Eternals. Which again, next Marvel film, so we were going to go see it anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do, you have thoughts on, do you have thoughts on the Eternals? Um, I don't know a lot about the history, the backstory of it. Yeah. Um, just from that trailer, I'd not seen a trailer before. Oh, okay. That, that was the first one I saw. I didn't know Richard Madden was in it. Love Richard Madden. Yeah. Um, it looks interesting. Yep. Um, it, they asked the question, where were you? Yeah. Which is good. Um, uh, yeah, I, I'm excited to see it. Cool. I don't know what is going to switch off or on foot or mitts. So... Thank you. I've been Michelle. He's been Adam. We appreciate you being here. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all that good algorithm stuff. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. We will see you next time. Bye! Bye.